All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are um, doing some of the side quests uh, that have been that have sprung up as a result of our uh, pursuit of um, hunting for Dandelion and Ciri. Our current one is that we're going to meet Roche, uh, Vernon Roche at his uh, camp because he has a, uh, a favor to ask of us to help with one of his team members, I think a woman named Vess, I think her name was. Um, and he wants our help with her. We don't exactly know with what, but let's take a look and see what comes up. We'll pay for a free Tamaria without blood. Now, witches, Oi, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Been here, you've been there. So tell me, is it really the fashion? Oh, you can't see us. Yeah, the Hanged Man's Tree is uh, where I first entered Velen, actually. So since it's uh, over a thousand um, distance away, I'm going to fast travel there. And I don't know why, but I suddenly just remembered that uh, several episodes ago I raced the um, the general and I won his saddle. So I just want to take a look and see. Superior racing saddle is plus 5% stamina compared to what I currently have. Okay, so let's equip that.
It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Nah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the... Death to the Black Ones! Help me! Circa! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Save Vess and kill all the Nelf Guardians. God damn it, Vess! Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed! You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me! Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake! I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> 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 One left or uh-oh, got a prisoner. Uh-oh, got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. I do it that. I am actually genuinely curious about what happens to Vess after this. So, I'll use the Mulberry Dale um, signpost to head back to the camp and see what happens.
All right, let's head in and see what they have to say. It's true you kill kings. You and our command which just what our band This is all over. I aim to we'll pay for a free to Mary. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. So long. What you looking for? Just man power? Or woman power, as the case may be. So now I gotta try and find Vess, because I don't see her with Vernon. Now, witches, they can't catch you the box. Isn't that right? Oh, there she is. Idle chatter. I'm interested. Alright, so they have nothing to say. Cool. Let's take a moment to meditate. And what are we going to do as our next quest? Yeah, let's go for Redania's Most Wanted as the next quest. So talk to the witch hunters in front of Philippa's hideout. Apparently only about 300 distance away, so I'm not going to fast travel. I am going to take Roach, though. Go, go. Hey, ya. Tayer. Interesting. March back in there. Commander, oh. full of monsters and traps. Oh, drag out so bored, aren't you? There's a dozen corpses still down there. I don't give a shit. We've orders to search this case, and that's what we're doing. We do a great deal. Trouble? Nothing fucking but. One plowing trouble after the other. What's it to you? Who are you? A means to solve your troubles. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Tell yesterday. And we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Expect to find inside. Everything, anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at them. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. The rest are probably dead. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Moine. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. 
Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled, flew across Kedwin and Redania, then tucked herself away here. Time I saw her, Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. What do you reckon? I think you'll find something. That could. <laughs> not in your life. He's a witcher. Witcher or not. Professor Sigismund Gloger's Notes and Diagram Feline Silversword. Uh, excavations to be carried out by Gottfried Oss, Michelle Sabina Ruxer, and Marco Gettel under the supervision of Professor Sigismund uh, Gloger. Pardon me. We have begun excavation work under the aegis of the Oxenfurt, Oxenfurt Academy and with kind sponsorship from Prince Adrian of the Sea Cats. Our goal is to find the legendary treasure of King Megalor Est Tair. 8th of Blath, first day of excavations. I'm deeply worried about the Witcher present among our company. I had a bad feeling about him at the very start, during the first meeting at Castle Darim. Now as we trek down dark underground caverns, his presence gives me shivers. Are we entirely sure his task is to protect our expedition? Furthermore, Castle Drahim is too close to Oxenford for us not to have heard those unsettling rumors about Prince Adrian, illegible fragment. 11th of Blath, third day of excavations, Kian demanded we surrender all notes found in the ruins in the Elven Armory. I refused. 13th of Blath, uh, fifth day of excavations, we pitched camp in a vast and dry cavern in the easterly portion of the complex. There are a few active portals here. I am afraid they are very likely unstable and unidirectional. 14th of Blath, sixth day of excavations, the Witcher murdered Marco. He was deciphering one of the priceless Elven sketches when suddenly, as I watched on aghast, the Witcher slit his throat and grabbed his ink, um... In Canabulum, sure. Uh, I panicked and jumped up, or jumped into one of the portals. It deposited me in some chamber which has no exit. Unless an echo of the portal appears, I am stuck here for good. I hope Michelle and Gottfried manage to escape. The remainder of the notes difficult to cipher and no dates are indicated. I must conclude the Witcher had from the very start been operating on Prince Adrian's orders. I would not be surprised if they were toasting their scheme success, uh, Drahim's castle, at this very moment. Blast it, perhaps I should have given those elven diagrams to Kian after all. What good are they to me here if I am to rot in the script? I have finished the last drops of my water. There is nothing to eat. No echo from the portal has appeared. Gods, I don't believe in you, but if you do in fact exist, if you exist, save me. So just the one left then. Alright, so let's go back to choosing that as the main quest or that is the active quest pardon me ooh purple got to be some mechanism that opens this door missing one tile portal over there, so of course I'm going to look over here first. It says there's an interaction thing here, so this is probably like where I come out. Unidirectional, good to know. A remix. It's Edge Afraid. This is an owl feather. Mm -hmm. Neckers. Might have expected as much as they love places like this. Maybe I can 
started up. cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Yeah, but which sign? Should work now. Stay back. Not one step closer. Sheathe that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. On the way up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but in nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't to know. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. <laughs> Love letters. Letter to Philippa. Dear Philippa, as I write this, I am sipping your favorite cocktail on the terrace of my father's Metenia estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I'd understand if you simply grown bored with me, and I'd accept if you had turned out uh, that the pair we made was not to your liking, or you had found yourself a younger, prettier model. But for the love of the bleeding gods, Dykstra, that, with all due respect, pot-bellied swine over me, I do not know if you have been testing new concoctions that have addled your mind, or perhaps this is another one of your games. Yet even if you must seek intimacy with that prim primitive for political reasons, I do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, uh, it would not be the first time we would hide our love. Huh. Interesting. Philippa dumped some woman for Dijkstra. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. So I have two objectives, to search Philippa's hideout and to place the crystal at the right spot. Right. Now to activate it. Using a sign. Because it's gotta be hard. Oh, use R to activate the crystal, okay.
a bad naviary. These are signs of polymorphy. I'm really curious what's down here, but I'm supposed to go that way. Hmm. Tunnel. Wonder where it leads. There's a dead body here. Power cells. <laughs> I see how this works. Silver, Lesser Perun Runestone, Makaman Trousers, uh, Superior Hanged Man's Venom, Gnomish here. Reaver's Boots. Ifrit? Seriously, Ifrit? Yeah, gotta have a sentry, of course. Haha. <laughs> Elemental Essence, Infused Shard, and Golem's Heart. Alright, let's go this way and see what, what happens. Bed, table, a few chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Agates. Philip always wore around her neck, except why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone or used them in her experiments. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. Tress will know what to do with this. A megascope. Scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Yeah, I found the crystal first. Alright, so I've got a few more things to check out. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing.
Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Very interesting. So I've now got two objectives. First one is to talk to Triss about the crystal from Philippa's Megascope and to tell Radovid what you learned about Philippa. First, I'm going to quickly meditate. What, pray tell, is down here? Looks like it's just a side area. Alright, well let's uh, make our way back. Some monster's jaws prefer to come up and form you. Besides, he'll come back this way. He's got to. Ah, there he is now. I'll just wait here. They'll come. For we'll deal with it. You're alive. Find anything? Dust, dirt, and a megascope crystal. Whatever the hell that is. But. Good chance is important. Hand it here, we'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! Anyway, since my armor and my steel weapon are damaged, I'm just going to repair them quickly. Let's do a quick meditation. But I am going to call an end to the episode here. You know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time when we head back to talk to Triss and uh, Radovid. See you then.